Hmm. So, like, uh, I can take the. I can take the dagger. Will I take the dagger and. Huh. I really don't know. Like, I really don't know what. So, I need, I need to find a. Of course, I'm, I'll have to frame someone, so. I'm gonna assume that. I can. Go here. The key didn't fit this lock. Oh, okay. <laughs> then uh, I guess uh, the only thing that I can do is actually steal the uh, the dagger. So let's go ahead and do that. The key unlocked the case. And we pick the cat. I uh, would pick the, the dagger w with us. I locked the case again and took the key. And I'm gonna use the dagger. Well, that definitely looks weird. It was an obsidian dagger, thin and razor sharp. Obsidian, huh? And I can stab it. I can't stab the girls with it. Nah, we're gonna. I doubted the girls would be any help to me. Huh? I thought I actually would uh, would stash it in uh, one of their bags and you know frame them. Well, I, th I don't think I can. I didn't need to make a call. Yeah, of course. Can I uh, crack this open? No. Maybe I can uh, That's open the kind this. Of thing George would do. Really? Really? Uh, I gotta be honest, the dagger definitely didn't look uh, like it... Uh didn't definitely didn't look uh, the way it is uh, inside the display here. I don't know, hey. Mm. I should give this to him. What was it you wanted? Take a look at this. What are you doing with that? Just looking. What was it used for? It's a sacrificial dagger. And I'd feel a lot happier if you put it down. Well, you just saw <laughs> you literally just saw me uh you literally just saw me uh steal something so Look at this. The thief left this key in the cabinet. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That makes the theft an inside job, right? Oh dear. In other words, the thief was Professor Oubier. Well, let's leave that for the police to decide, shall we? I better phone them right away. I didn't look suspicious ha having this dagger with me. Hello? Wow. I knew I had nothing to worry about if the police were caught. Yes, hello. But I had to catch up with Oubier, and fast. All right, uh, I'm getting the hell out of here. Please, miss. Don't go. Okay. I should stash this with him, maybe. To frame him. You'll have to be quick, miss. I'm on the phone. What was it you wanted? He wouldn't have been interested. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Sorry, You'll talk to him. Quick, miss. I'm on the phone. There was nothing else. Okay. <sighs> Maybe uh, it is time to actually stash it. Can I stash it in my bag? That was no good. And then leave it uh, to them? I guess that I got the answer here right, uh, real quick. Now it is my chance to murder them. Right? 
I doubted the girls would be any help to me. <laughs> there was no point in locking the cabinet now the stone was gone. Hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything here. So, huh. The cabinet was locked. Uh, can I uh, try, you know, find the key with uh, with him? But I don't think uh, I, I can do it. I don't think I can use anything. Hmm, can I break that? Cannot open it, of course. That's she refuses to do that. Of course, that's not gonna do anything. Yep. Uh huh. So. Talk to the Japanese girls again. They're not going to interact with me. I doubted the they're not going to be interested in this. Then, of course, they're not going to. Mm. The corridor led back to the main entrance. Oh, maybe there's something actually behind this curtain. I didn't check it out. He was, uh, the attendant was stopping me all the, t all the time. Oh. There's a room here. Oh, this is actually an exit? I'm getting the hell out of here. The doors were securely locked. We'll see about that. Ha! The doors were su Ha! The doors were su Ha! Yes, with the dagger. I levered the handle open with the thin dagger. Nice, we managed to escape. Back at Kitch's Landing. Damn, alright. The room so. had been decorated to resemble the interior of a sailing ship. It was disturbingly effective. Alright, we are now back at the Caribbeans. Alright, things didn't start well when I arrived on Kitch's Landing. Two odd ladies, uh, Frost and Mina, claimed to be descendants of Kitch's, uh, Kitch, uh, Kitch himself. They wouldn't let me into the, uh, the Kitch Museum because they claimed it was undergoing refurbishment. I talked with uh, Bronson, a slimeball uh, architect, uh, used a bit of the old uh, Stobar to misdirection and snuck a look at his plans. Turns out he was aiming to build a huge five-story hotel. When I showed the ladies, uh, they, uh, they went crazy. After this little favor, the ladies happily let me into the museum. And this is uh, where we are now. I see. Yeah, things are uh, progressing smoothly. That was the way out to the front of the house. Hmm. Time to check everything around here. There's it a was lantern. A oil lantern made of brass. Do I actually have anything new? Well, I have the. Uh, it was Bronson's theodolite. Yeah, theodolite. And the it reflector. Was the electronic marker which Bronson used with his theodolite. It was a ship? beautifully crafted model of a sailing ship. The logs. It was an old book with spidery writing covering the open pages. Spidery writing. Inkwell and the quill. On a desk. It was an indented well in the corner of the desk. I guess it was intended to hold ink, but it seemed unnecessarily wide. Maybe Ketch had used it to hold his rum bottles steady in heavy seas. Yep. 
Sure looks uh, like it. Or sounds like it. Was it was one of those old pens made out of a feather. The top surface of the desk had a large recessed area set into it. I guessed it was intended to stop things rolling off in heavy seas. There was also an inkwell, and a few inches away, a small hole with a feather placed in it. Okay. It was Captain Ketch's sea chest. Its battered appearance hinted at salty tales of maritime adventure and swashbuckling. <laughs> Long months at sea with a rum sodden mutinous crew, hard tack and scurvy. Damn. And his chest, full to the brim with Ketch's loot. Pearls, diamonds, emeralds, and doubloons. On the other hand, doubloons. it could have been full of spare blankets. Uh, now I he actually got me interested in finding what's inside it. There's a it chart was an here. Actual pirate ship chart. Actual? Actual, actual? Real thing? The real deal? Ship's wheel. God damn. Maybe that wheel was from Ketch's ship. Suddenly, I was 12 years old again. Uh, portraits of him. Captain Frederick Ketch, 1570. Around his neck was a cross. Maybe he was a part time pirate. <laughs> Nice track. <laughs> it was a ship's bell. On a cutlass. That's a sword, right? You can't see it. Uh, and very sharp looking pirate's cutlass. Yeah, it's uh, you can't see it uh, because of uh of what do you call it? What do you call this? It's uh sands uh, in the very uh, uh head of the of the uh, of a ship usually. I don't know what the, what uh, what this is actually called in English. It ship's was front an old wooden barrel maybe it was from Ketch's ship <laughs> maybe yeah maybe it's maybe it's actually not maybe it's just uh, <laughs> you know something uh, that they found it would uh, would make the aesthetic uh, aesthetics of this place you know more pleasing and uh, Accommodating to the theme. Holding that lantern, I felt kind of biblical, like Jesus or, or Florence Nightingale. Hmm. I don't think I need to do anything with that, right? Yeah, not at the moment. Let's check on the the ship. The ship looked too fragile to touch. All right. So let's not touch that. March twentieth, sixteen hundred and seventy fix. Sixteen. Engaged frigate off Fan Falvador? It was garbage. Huh. I guess being a pirate didn't require too many academic qualifications. <laughs> the passage went on to describe how Ketch had got wind of the approach of a fleet of English ships. It seemed the new governor had not shared his predecessor's views on Ketch's activities. They were out for his blood. Sailed to that place where I made secure my fortune. I returned safe in the knowledge that the governor shall not discover that which I had hidden. For is it not writ that tis easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle? What? What does that mean? Hmm. Can we open the chest now? Full of blanket? Well, full of treasures. It's locked. Shit. Hmm. Oh no! Surprise! What the? You were hiding here all the time? You didn't suffocate? Oh god. You had uh Frost's uh, I'm Emily. What were you doing in there, Emily? Or maybe you're uh, had what Mina's jeans? Grown up stuff. Grown ups? <laughs> I'm never gonna grow up, I'm not. You shouldn't be here. What's your name? I'm George. Pleased to meet you, Jaws. George. <laughs> Jaws. George. Jeez. Make your mind up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, want me to drug you? 
Let's have some drugs. Play darts? Eh? Oh, come on. I'll throw you catch. Oh. Dangerous. Darts will stick in me and make me bleed. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect the game to actually say something like that. Well, uh, she's not horrible. Well, at least for now. Mm, you know, but uh, Rio? Why don't you go play with Rio? I'm not allowed. How come? Because Aunt Frost says I'm not allowed out of the house. That's why it's the nosy beak. Too bad. Whoa. You like Rio? Why don't you ask your other aunt if you can play with Rio? Aunt Mina's cuckoo. Aunt Frost <laughs> says so. She says when the Lord handed out common sense, Aunt Mina was off getting double portions of chin. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. All right. That Rio's a smart kid. He helped me out with Bronson. Rio is clever. He can spit ever so far. <laughs> well, that is uh, definitely a talent. Mm. You know about your great 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 uh, grandfather? What can you tell me about Captain Ketch? That's him on the wall in the picture. Yeah, I know. Scary looking guy, huh? He was my great 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 grandfather. Hmm. Yeah. You have his eyes. Uh. Uh. What about uh, you know Jesus Christ? That cross you're wearing, Emily. It's my lucky Jesus cross. It's just like the one Captain Ketch wore. Uh huh. Can I borrow it? Uh huh. Uh huh. Why the hell not? What would you trade for that cross, Emily? A puppy. Well, I don't happen to have a puppy in my pocket right now. Can you think of anything else you'd trade? Don't know. I have a worm. The tequila worm. Hmm. Do you know how to use a theodolite? We don't learn anything about surveying at my school. Not until fifth grade. Shit. Goddamn. Engineering? Uh, even before elementary? Well, that's a pu this is a puppy in Look, some sense. An ancient Mayan stone. Is that a magic stone? Well, I don't know about that. No. It is kind of a magical stone. The little girl had cute freckles, cute little nose, and the eyes of a KGB interrogator. <laughs> Around her neck was a large cross on a chain. It was identical to the one in the portrait of Captain Ketch. Damn, the KGB, uh, only the KGB can answer, uh, can, uh, you answer the question to the KGB, and you don't question the KGB. Hmm. Let's grab this chart for, uh, for ourselves. Okay, I've had my hands on an historical document. Now what? Uh, uh nothing, for now. Maybe I need to put it on the disc. And I'm, I'm gonna check things that out before like I do anything. That looked like that's where it was supposed to be. So I left it there. How about the quill? Yeah, it's mine now. That might come in useful. In ticklish situations. <laughs> what you doing, Jaws? Jaws? I'm just borrowing this feather, that's all. Why? I might be able to make use of it. You're gonna steal it? That's bad. I'm gonna tell on you. No, don't do that. Why not? Well, because I'm not stealing. Just borrowing. Yeah, I'm not stealing. And Quell can't do anything about it. Penhold it. was firmly attached to the desk. Can't do anything about it. Is she really watching me? Nah, she's not. Ah, uh, you can see the cutlass from here. Alright. Check uh, the barrel. Yow! Whoa! Should have known better than to put my hand in there. Grandma Stobart had a nasty experience in a water butt once. What the? What's inside? Whatever lived in that barrel could stay there, as far as I was concerned. What the hell is inside? It was an old wooden barrel. <laughs> What's inside? Whatever lived in that barrel could stay there as far as I was concerned. Hmm. 
Maybe you can ask uh, Emily about it. So why didn't they want Emily to play with the... Uh, Hard up port, bosun! Aye, aye, with Captain Stobart! <laughs> she cannot take it, Captain! The lad's dead! Abandon ship! <laughs> That's cool. Let's do it again. Oh, that's it? All right. <laughs> it was mm. the portrait of Captain Ketch. The mm. portrait might have made a nice souvenir, but it was too large to carry. Yeah, we can't do anything. There's, there's probably something that I need to do. Captain Ketch. That cross really... Made a nice souvenir, but it was too large to carry. That cross really didn't look like the cross that Emily has. What can I do with the bell? Two bells and all's well. Pirates were cool. <laughs> Two bells and all's well. Pirates were cool. What about it the cutlass? Been easy to reach the cutlass and slip it in my pocket. It would also have been the most regrettable action of my life. No. Uh, dude, you can fit a fucking uh, what do you call these? Uh, Telescopes. Theodolite, yeah. <laughs> Telescope. <laughs> yeah, you can fit a fucking theodolite inside of your pants. Can't you, uh, slip one, uh, you know, slip a cutlass too? It was the quill I'd found in the Ketch Museum. Hmm. So, one thing that comes to mind. Well, I guess I have to, uh, I'll need to have the cross with me. Now, let's talk to Emily some more. Why don't you run along and play? Aunt Mina told me. Stay out of mischief. Well, that doesn't mean you have to stay indoors, does it? On a beautiful day like today? There's a storm coming. Oh, nuts. Huh. You don't know that. I do so. I can see the whole world from the window. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm busy. There were several things I wanted to say to that awful kid. But I held my tongue. Well, she's not awful. She's all right. And uh, she's the second person to actually tell me that there is a storm coming. Real uh, said so. Hmm. So I think what I need to do here is to grab this uh, chart. Okay, I've had my hands on an historical document. Now what? And put it on the desk. The chart fitted exactly into the recess on the top of the desk. What you doing now, Jaws? Jaws? Knock it off, will ya? There's something you wanna know. I don't buy cute or lost puppy. I'm putting this old map on the desk. What you doing that for, Jaws? Because it was obviously intended to fit in this recessed area. How'd you work that out? It's obvious. Uh, now it's things, uh, work the way they are, you know. Click and hope uh, for something to happen. Probably that's it. But uh, what's actually what's that actually like that's in where it was supposed to be? So I left it there. But uh, what's in what's uh, on the uh, on the chart itself? The desk had obviously been cut to fit the chart, or maybe vice versa. Now I'll take the lantern. Grab it to the desk? No. I probably need uh, to have the... Uh, or maybe the lantern and check what's inside the barrel. Can I? I cannot. I can't ask her about what's inside the barrel? There were she... several things I wanted to say to that awful kid, but I held my tongue. I bet she actually uh, knows what's inside that. She probably put it there. <sighs> Don't judge me, viewers. She wouldn't have been interested. <laughs> I 
I'm serious. Don't judge me. I'm trying things. Ser <laughs> Seriously. There were several things. Don't call the cops. That awful kid. Uh, can I drug her? She wouldn't have been interested. She wouldn't have been interested. Yeah, otherwise she would have had it. She wouldn't have been interested. She wouldn't have been in. She wouldn't have. Ah, uh, all right. So, hmm. 